Okay, sorry if it's a little loud. There's like garbage truck outside. So um, I'm gonna do a short um, screencast on showing you how I figured out plasmid mapping problem number six on the plasmid mapping practice questions. Let me share my screen. Oh, come on, buddy. Let's do it. Okay, oops. Oh my gosh, it's so loud outside. Okay, so here's the question. We're dealing with a circular piece of DNA. The plasmid is called um, PA, PDA 102, and it has a total size of 4.3 kilobases. So I always like to start out my plasma mapping questions by like putting the name of the plasmid on the inside with the total size. 5.3, 4, sorry, 4.5, 4.35 kilobases. And then it explains when the plasma DNA is digested with certain combinations of restriction enzymes, the resulting fragments are electrophoresed, which again, this is using a DNA gel to separate fragments by size, right? So this is separ separate um, DNA fragments um, by their size or length of base pairs. And the following data is obtained. Oh my gosh, now my dog is squeaking a toy. Um, okay, using these data, construct a restriction plasmid map for um, plasmid DA102 for the restriction enzyme SAL1 and HHA3. So we have these various, we have, we know that we're using two different restriction enzymes and then we're putting them together when we use both of them. And we give certain fragments. So I always like to start these um, separate. So I'm going to do SAL1 alone. So we are given that it there are one, two, three fragments. So there will be three cuts, right? So we know that there are three cuts. Two of them are pretty close together to give us this 0.25. And then we have one that's at 1.8 and another that is at 2.3. So we know that there are three cuts, three recognition sites here for Sal, giving us those three um, fragments. We're gonna do the same for HHA3. So this is for HHA3 alone. So again, I'm gonna draw a little plasmid. Um, and then I know that there are going to, again, be three cuts because there are three restriction, um, three, sorry, three fragments that result from that, All right? So we have, let's see, um, three cuts. And again, I'm just gonna kind of draw them anywhere. Um, but we know that one, side, one of them is smaller, it's 0.7. We know that one is going to be at 0.8 and one is at, whoops, sorry, not 0.8. Um, one is 0.7, one is 1.55, .55, and one is 2.10. Now our goal is to look at when they're both cut and see if there's any fragments that are similar, right? So first off, you'll notice that this 0 0.25 fragment is in both. Right, so it is in sal alone over here, and it's in the plasmid alone. So we know that there, this is going to maintain this 0.25 is going to be there in the final plasmid with no cut in between it. We also, hopefully, you can notice that there's 0.7 here and here. Right, so we know that this 0.7 is going to maintain. Um, there's gonna be no cuts within that region between those two HHA sites. All right, so now I then take one of these and it doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to do a focus on SAL1. So I'm gonna call that um, focus on SAL1. So I'm gonna to try to build in those H sites within this SAL, within the SAL that I already have, All right? So again, I know that this region here, the 0.25 KB, um, is 0.25 KB is not going to have an H site within it. We know that there's an, another SAL site that gives us a 1.8, and the other one is going to give us a 2.3. Now, we have to figure out how these 
um, how these HHA sites can fit into this, right? We know that there's gonna be three additional HA sites and we can actually count the total um, base pair fragments up here and that gives us six. So we know that there's six sites, three from Sal and three from HHA. Four, five, yep, that's correct. All right, so now I know that this H, this little region here with this 0.7 has to go somewhere. So it can either go here, right? Or, oops, sorry. Or it can go up here. And how am I gonna figure that out? Well, first off, you could just do trial and error. The other thing you could do is the following. So let's say I want to put my HA here, right? And we know that's 0 0.7. So what I can do is take 2.3 minus 0.7, and that gives me 1.6. So can these two regions would have to leave up to 1.6? Right, And I can look up here and say, okay, 1.6 minus, let's say 1.1.5, that doesn't give us anything. I can take my, so again, what I'm doing here is taking 2.3 minus 0 0.7 to give us 1.6, 3 minus 0 0.7, um, 1.6. And then I'm subtracting any of the known base pairs up here to see. So this time I'll do minus 1.2. Doesn't, doesn't give us anything we want. Okay, let's try that 1.6 minus 0.7, oops, 1.6 minus point, whoops, 1.6 minus 0.75, doesn't give us anything we want. So it's not looking great. So I'm gonna back that up and I'm gonna try putting it on the other side. Okay, so we know our sal, and now we know that H, between H, we know that 0 0.7, that is gonna remain intact, right? So I'm just gonna try to put it there and see what happens. So now what I'm gonna do is take my 1.8 minus 0.7, and we have to get somehow trying to find these fragments. So I'm gonna do 1.8 minus 0.7, and that gives us 1.1. And then I'm going to subtract, let's say 0.75. And what that gives us is 0 0.35, which is one of our ones here. So what that means up here, whoops, sorry is that if we put our 0.7 there and we have this 0.8, one of these could be 0.75 and one of these could point 0.35. So let's add those up. So we have 0 0.7 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.35. And I'm hoping that will add up to 1.8, 0.75 plus 0.7 plus 0.35. And that does add up to our 1.8 KB. So that makes sense on that side. And then on the other side, we have 2.3. The only fragments that we have left are 1.2 and 1.1. So we can just subtract one from that. We can just put one more H site here and that will split that up into 1.2 and 1.1, right? Um, so again, 2.3 minus 1.2 is gonna be equal to 1.1. In other words, when we add these two fragments up, you will add up to 2.3. So on our five, final plasmid map, we will go back and double check everything. So what I have here is we started with, so I'm gonna erase some things. And the beauty about plasma mapping is you can always go back and double check, All right? So I'm gonna have a cell site here in a cell site here with our 0 0.25. I'm gonna have another cell up here, right? And this region up here, this fragment from here to here was gonna be 1.8. We now are splitting that up with two HHA sites that make our 0.7. And then on one side, we're gonna have our 0.75. And on our other side, we're gonna have 0.35. And then on this side, we're gonna have one H site, which will break up that 2.3 fragment into 1.2 and 1.1, right? So let's go back and double check here and then do some erasing. Um, so if we look at our original situation up here, um, okay, if we cut with Sal1 alone, and I'm gonna color code this, if we cut with Sal1 alone, we should get 
2.3, check. We should get a 0.25, check. And we should get a 1.8, check. So that works out. Now let's try to do that with, for example, HHA. So if we have our HHA, we should get a, um, a sorry, an H, uh, sorry, we should get our 0.75, or sorry, our 0.7, which is good. We should get um, a, let's see what this is added up, 1.2 plus 0.75 is our, uh-oh, that doesn't work. We should get 1.95. So what if we do 1.5 plus 0.35? There we go. So these two actually have to be reversed. So 0.75 versus 0.7.5. So let's try that again. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. So we didn't know which way we're going to try to switch those two now. So here we would have 0.35 and 0 0.75. All right, so let's try this again. So cell one will give us 0.25, got that. Our here, which is our 0.35 plus 0.75 plus 0.7, which is our 1.8, which is good. And then this over here, which would be our 2.3. So Sal's looking good. Now let's try our HHA again. So HHA is gonna give us um, our 0.7. And then let's see what this is added up. We have 0.35 plus 1.2 is gonna give us our 1.5. And then over here, we're hoping that that'll add up to our 2.1. 1.1 plus 0.25 plus 0.75 will give us our 2.1. So that seems to be the correct plasmid map. All right, hopefully that is helpful. All right, toodles poodles.